Hey friends, today we are going to continue our California vacation and this time we're going to head outside of the Disney bubble and visit a couple of amazing spots in the beautiful city of Anaheim. There's this one place called Thrifty Land, which is a thrift store that I was like, okay, that sounds amazing. I have to check it out and then also eat at a couple California staples like In-N-Out Burger because I've never eaten there. Anywho's, let's go do this. Since we're staying here at the Disneyland Hotel, I'm just gonna Uber from the check-in area. It's actually really easy, and I've been relying a lot on Uber to get around to different places outside of the resort. And just like that, we made it. We're here, Thrifty Land. Now, I do wanna point out, this isn't gonna be only Disney stuff in here. This is just a regular thrift store with a very thrifty name or a fancy name and I can't wait to just kind of browse around a little bit. It was just about a nine minute Uber ride from the Disneyland Hotel right on over here and I'll put all the information in the description below in case you ever want to check it out including their address and like Instagram and stuff like that but don't you love that sign? Thrifty Land! As soon as you walk in, you have a little Batman poster here with the Joker and Jack Nicholson. And you can see there's a lot of fancy things on the walls. I like it. <laughs> Beavis and Butthead, Olaf, Toy Story. Ooh, look at this picture of Walt Disney right here. This is actually really cool. I like that. That's, that's, that's actually a, some amazing artwork right there. And then some old, cool, uh, old school Mickey Mouse signs. Seems like there's a lot of good stuff in here. Like I said, it's not just Disney. It's just a little bit of everything. It's a thrift store. And there's a lot of really cool like pop culture references on the walls that I'm like, all right, I kind of like it here. Those stuffed animals up there caught my attention. It looks like it's the big bad wolf and the three little piggies. That's really cool. And then you can see Bowser right here. A lot of teenage uh, mutant ninja turtles. And is that the moon from McDonald's? <laughs> I actually really love this. Like, this is really cool actually to get a whole entire set. It has Disneyland right in the back there, Walt Disney World. The Big Bad Wolf was actually one of my favorite characters, and he's such a cool character to meet in the parks. I wonder how much they're selling this for. Of course, you can't just get the uh, Big Bad Wolf. You have to get the, you know, the set. You have to get the three little pigs. But also, look at a little uh, Thrifty Land hat. Perfect! You can see we've got some Walt Disney World clothing here. That's kind of interesting. Ursula. Some Rugrat shirts right there. Ooh, I like these old school, like, Looney Tunes shirts. Those are actually really cool. Oh, and a Guide to Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Yeah, I kind of like it in here. And we've only just walked in the door. I really haven't even explored around much. They also sell their own merchandise here, Thrifty Land 101. I think I'm definitely gonna have to get one of these shirts. I just kind of love it, you know what I mean? It is such a great name. And they also have a good selection of toys that I always like to check out, because you know, I do like toys. I like vintage old things, and there's a lot here. A lot of things to look at. We've got some old school figurines over here. Look at the little E.T. down there. I like that E.T. a lot, actually. And then some more Mickeys. We got Pete there in the corner. Bambi. Oh, the Bambi's actually looking really nice. There's some really interesting things here. Lots of vintage Mickeys and Disney characters up here. Look at uh, little Simba, some Lion King stuff right here. <laughs> These look so funny. Oh wait, I gotta pull down. Is this Rafiki? I don't even know what this is. <laughs> That's hysterical. I'm gonna put him back up there though. Here is a little flyer with all their information on it. If you guys want to check it out, there's their address. They're open seven days a week, and you get 10% off with this flyer. They also have Instagram and Facebook and all the nifty things. And I'm happy I got a hat. Look at Thrifty Land. But just like I said in the beginning, it is just a regular thrift store. So things are coming and going. People are buying stuff and they're replenishing. So there was nothing I really walked out with today. Uh, I did like the Big Bad Wolf stuff animal though, but I think he's selling it as a collection. So you'd have to make an offer for the Big Bad Wolf and the Three Little Pigs. And if I'm ever back out in this area, I think I'll definitely check it out. 
And since I'm in the thrifting state of mind, I decided to hop on over to the Orange Circle to the historic district and go to the Orange Circle Antique Mall right over here. This is actually a really nice area. We have the Antique Depot here, and then we have the Antique Mall here. So there's lots to look at. I don't even know where I wanna go. Oh, this is the Antique Station, and that is the Antique Depot. Very fancy, but I love this like area. First, let's dive into the Antique Station, and then we'll head across the street there. Well, this is what I kinda like. This is like the Antique Mall. Wow, the Lakeland Antique Mall back in Florida. This is interesting. Oh wow, look at those Snow Whites up there. There's gonna be a lot of stuff we can find. Oh boy, oh boy, I just walked in and look at all this old school Disney stuff right here. This is really cool. Literally, this is the first thing I've come upon. <laughs> look at the Pinocchio right here. Wow, there are so many cool boots in here. I'm kind of already blown away. And I'm just looking around, trying to spot some treasures, but everything is like a treasure. Like, look at this Coca-Cola display right here. You see that Mickey Coca-Cola display? These were all pins. Wow, Coca-Cola salutes Walt Disney World. Happy 15th birthday. That's impressive. Wow, I feel super excited because this place actually has two boots by Disney legends. Like, Disney legends. Bob Gurr himself has his own booth here with a bunch of Disney replicas and signed artwork. That is so cool. Look at this Walt Disney bust right here. I love all of this. Everything is so amazing. And this is Bob Gurr's actual stand. So all this stuff it has his autograph on it and it's playing some classic Disneyland music in here. They have the Tomb Sweet Tomb, New Orleans Square. These were all replicas, but I love it. This is really cool. If you guys don't know who Bob Gore is, he's the Imagineer that designed some of the most classic attractions. The People Mover, the Haunted Mansion Doom Buggies, the Matterhorn. Like, he is a legend. I'm not too sure I can fit anything else in my suitcase, but I would love to buy this Matterhorn right here. And it's signed by the man himself, but how cool would it be just to have this just spinning around and around? That is so amazing. They only want $160 for it. I wonder if they do any shipping because I love it. Wow, I really, really love that Matterhorn. That is so nifty. So if they do ship, I'm thinking about buying it and then having it sent back home with me. Back in this corner, there's another booth with a lot of amazing Disneyland stuff. This is Second Hand Mouse, Disney collectible and memorabilia. And this is Penny Crawford. And her mother is actually a Disney legend as well. And this is so cool. Oh, look, right here you can get one of the light bulbs from the Main Street Electrical Parade. I've seen those before, but how funny is that? Because, you know, now the Main Street Electrical Parade is back. And then also, I see a Hotel Disneyland ornament there. Ooh, look at this. A Hotel Disneyland. <laughs> Disneyland Park and Hotel Entrance sign. This is a first edition for $350. There's a lot of cool things in here. They keep all the good stuff behind the glass. Some very old Mickeys and Plutos. I love all of this. Like, <laughs> I'm kind of uh, geeking out a little bit. Oh yeah, lots of pins. There's some good stuff here. Oh wow, look at this bottom shelf. Dedicated to Dalmatians. Oh. <laughs> I love it. I miss Gracie. We're going to be seeing her soon, though. Look at this awesome Golden Horseshoe review. True Legends of the Golden Horseshoe, August 18, 2011. This is really cool. The most performances of any show in the entire world. I like this, actually. This is a really cool thing. And it's selling for $299. Really awesome. As I'm actually going around doing some shopping, I've come across a pretty random booth. Actually, a pretty random land booth. Look at this. Justin Scard has his own booth here, and I've seen this before in his videos, but I didn't know it was this antique store, so that's really cool. So you can get all your favorite little uh, random land swag and some other cool stuff. I know he makes those signs, too. 
really awesome. I'm happy I actually got to see this. Oh wow, and I stumbled upon a really nifty Star Wars display. Look at this. I love how all the different figures are standing up. That is so awesome, and they're all individually priced. This is really, really cool, and especially if you love Star Wars. And then they also have uh, Frankenstein's monster over here, a lot more E.T. and Pee Wee Herman doll. This is a cool booth right here. Vintage collectibles, and uh, I like it. I could spend hours in here. I really wish I knew like it was this big and I planned a little bit better because I really want to dive in and go through all these different boots, but we don't have much time. You know what I mean? It's, it's a little different when you're on vacation and you're, you know, visiting. Everything's like, you know, got to keep going, got to keep going, but I love it here. I just found out that these are actually the same. This one over here has two stories though, but wow. I really want to come back out here and enjoy a day in the orange circle because I like it over here. This is really, really nice. Now we're actually going to head out and make our way over to an In-N-Out burger. Everybody always talks about In-N-Out and I've never had one and this might be my only chance or I'm definitely coming back to California, but it'll be my first time trying it. So we're going to do that and then probably head back to Disneyland itself and enjoy more of a park day because, you know, you pay for a park like the day. So I'm buying daily tickets. Uh, I want to make sure I use them and get, a, you know, get my money's worth. Now it's time for my first In-N-Out burger. I am so excited. I hope the hype is real. Quality you can taste. I am like so excited. It looks really fancy in here too. Get myself some lemonade. Bada bing. I think I might take my food and sit outside. It is a beautiful day out, and I'm really loving this lemonade too. All right, we got the goods. We're heading outside. All right, here we go. All right, well, that definitely does it. I am an In-N-Out fan. Amazing, and these french fries are phenomenal too. Look at these. I just went with the double-double french fries and grilled onion, but I love it. It's the simplicity of it. Like, it's good. Ooh. I like how they're on the speaker, like, calling out names. The buns are posted, to like, the buns are toasted perfectly. I said posted perfectly. And also the meat seasoned well. It's really, really amazing. And the french fries, I just keep on snacking on them. I can't stop with the french fries. I can tell you this, if they actually put in and outs in Florida, I would definitely go to it over a lot of the other places like Shake Shack and Five Guys. Like, I don't know, like I said, it, it just tastes different. Everything's like clean and fresh. I really, really do like it. Once you get to the bottom of the french fries, it says our fries are made from whole potatoes that are peeled and diced at each store and cooked in sunflower oil. And I love them. Like the french fries were amazing, but the burger is what took the, the, the top ranking for me. The burger was outstanding. <laughs> That was fantastic. I love In-N-Out now. Like, <laughs> I really am gonna be sad the fact that I can't get this all the time, but at least it's something I can look forward to whenever I come back to California. And now I think I'm gonna just head back to Disneyland. We're gonna go enjoy some time in the park. I've been Ubering around everywhere. And like, so like I've been in all different areas and I don't wanna show like the Uber process because like I don't wanna show inside someone's car. You know what I mean? That's their business and stuff like that. But um, I've taken I think four now Ubers, four Ubers. So I've probably spent just around like I would say under $100 to go visit all these places outside of Disneyland and I like it, it's worth it. It's so fun, you know what I mean? Just looking and seeing the things that I always wondered about and doing the California vacation thing or the tourist thing, it's really, really, it, it's a good time. It's so interesting when you're driving around you get to see a little bit of Disneyland. There's Galaxy's Edge right there in the background. Like isn't that cool and we're just kinda just out in the city. There's the bus stations. 
And now we are back at the Disneyland Hotel. Hi! <laughs> and it's time to head to uh, Disneyland. Now it's time we make our way back into Disneyland and enjoy a little bit more of the park. I'm gonna try to do some rides that I didn't get to do on my first day, but still do some of my favorites. You know what I mean? Even though I already done them, I kinda wanna do them again. I'm also hanging out with a friend today and it's his first time coming to Disneyland so I'm gonna be able to like show him some cool stuff because you know I don't come to this park often but I do know a lot about it and I like the history behind it so I'm gonna try to show off and you know use my knowledge now we're gonna make our way into the park a little bit more and I definitely want to spend time in Tomorrowland try to do Space Mountain because we weren't able to do it the other day and just do some of the other things and see some of the shows and just relax you know the first day I was on the run and I was ready to do everything today kind of just want to casually walk around stare at the castle and just take it all in look at this we got some baby ducks running down Main Street USA getting some of the popcorn. That's actually the cutest thing ever. <laughs> like, it's so funny the way they're just walking. Like I said in the beginning, I'm hanging out with a friend and it's his first time here. So I feel like I should take him on the Matterhorn bobsleds as his first ride. Uh, it, it just seems fitting. And it's the same thing I did. It was my first ride. So uh, it's always a good go-to. You excited you got the front row? <laughs> Definitely one of the rides I feel like every time I come to Disneyland, I have to ride every visit. <laughs> it's really interesting because normally, like to get to Galaxy's Edge, you would go, you know, in Hollywood Studios. But like going from Fantasyland to Batu, I don't even know if we're going in the right direction. But it's kind of it's kind of tripping me up a little bit. We're wearing Star Wars shirts, so I figured I would come check out Galaxy's Edge over here on the West Coast and uh, see if there's anything different. Maybe ride Smuggler's Run, but I'm wearing my uh, Mandalorian Roosevelt, and I, I don't know, I just kind of want to go there. Whenever I wear a shirt, I kind of feel like I, I, I want to go to that area. Like the other day, I wore a Marvel shirt, so I went to Avengers Campus, and I don't know, I just like theme things, you know? Speaking of my shirt, because it has Mando and it has Grogu and a Bantha, I think we might as well get some milk, maybe some blue milk, because it's my friend's first time and he's never had it. And he's a big Star Wars fan, so I feel like that's another initiation on both coasts. Normally, I'm a blue milk kind of guy, but I figure a lot of people like blue milk, so I got him the blue milk and I wanted to be different and I got the green one. So we got a little blue and green. Cheers to your first milk experience. Blue milk. Blue milk. I got green. Galactic, galactic taste. Is. Yeah, it's, it's got a weird texture, right? I love it though. It's good. <laughs> I really didn't think I was gonna spend much time in Galaxy's Edge while I was over here in Disneyland only because like I said I can do that at Hollywood Studios but it is nice to see it like a little bit different it does I mean I feel like I'm back in Orlando though a little like you know what I mean right here's Olga's Canteen and we're gonna head over to the Falcon we're gonna take our milk keep our eye out for stormtroopers and go ride smugglers run oh but before that look R2-D2's out do do do. You remind me of me, but without the bounty on your head, it's you flown for me before. I can't believe you made it back. Oh yeah, made it back. All right, we got this. Pilots here. <laughs> Pilot on the left, move your stick to fly right and left. There we go, no crash! Just about to say that. Pilot on the right, pull back on the stick to fly out. 
and push forward to fly down. The weapons are on life. Up, up, up! <laughs> <laughs> Smuggler's Run was awesome, and I love the fact that we got to pilot too. And you know what I mean? I feel like that's the best way to do Smuggler's Run. You always have to be the pilot. Sometimes you can ask, and they'll actually just give it to you. And sometimes you just get the luck of the draw, and you're assigned it. Uh, we asked. I asked. I was like, "Can I be the pilot?" And they just let you do it. Now that we're officially out of Batu, we came back out to Frontierland, and I thought it'd be fun to come over and uh, ride the wildest ride in the wilderness, BTMRR. Here comes our chariot, Ivy Hardy. Ivy Hardy. Best remove them, you know. I'm bald. Oh boy. It just like makes you slide all over. Big Thunder Mountain always puts me in such a great mood. I love it. Like honestly, and the one here, like I said, is so much better than Disney World. And while we were in line, I was able to join the walk-up list for the Carnation Cafe, which is a nice little restaurant right on Main Street. And I uh, figured maybe we'd head over there, have a little lunch, and enjoy the ambience. It is really beautiful over there. I've definitely noticed reservations are much harder to come by here at Disneyland for sit-down restaurants. So when I seen the Carnation Cafe pop up, I was like, ooh, I'm taking that. And they just called us and they gave us 10 minutes to get over there. So I'm rushing over. I think it's so cool they have a restaurant right on Main Street USA. Like, that is really amazing. So it's definitely been on my list. So today's going to be the day. And here it is, the Carnation Cafe. I hope we can eat outside because it looks so beautiful there. Oh wow, yeah, they have outdoor seating and then they have indoor seating. So that would be great. Oh wow, I love it in here. Thank you. Look at this. Oh, there, there's Walt right there. This is really, really cool. <laughs> I like it. Thank you. 
I really wanted to try Walt's meatloaf that was, I guess, used to be on the menu here, but it's no longer there, so we're gonna try something different. Oh, but this is cool, sitting here, and it looks like a parade or a cavalcade's coming down, so we get to just sit here and watch. Look at Mike getting all excited about Mickey and Minnie there. Look at him. <laughs> all right, now that we got to catch a cavalcade, let's take a look at the menu and see what they have for uh, food offerings. Here is the menu, and it looks like they got some good appetizers like fried pickles, waffle chili, a baked potato soup, and then they got some gourmet burgers, uh, a Parmesan toasted patty melt, and then for the entrees, they have a braised short rib and then a chicken fried chicken. And this comes with country bacon gravy. And that sounds amazing. I think I'm going to get Walt's chili and the chicken fried chicken. Here is Walt's chili. Comes out as a little appetizer. It's served with a cornbread garnish, some cheddar cheese, sour cream, and chives. And it looks so good. Gonna dive right on in there, Walt's Chili here. Now this is his original recipe, and I can't wait to try the cornbread. There we go, a spoonful of chili. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah, oh nice. A spoonful of chili makes the medicine go down. <laughs> now I dipped my uh, little cornbread garnish right in there with the chili. That's good. You know, Walt loved eating chili and beans. He was obsessed with it. He used to carry around beans with him all the time. Now that the chili business has been taken care of, take a look at this. I love it. Chicken fried chicken, mashed potatoes. Uh, it looks like we got broccolini. And then the bacon country gravy, which sounds amazing. And I, I, I can't wait to dive in because the chicken has a really nice breading to it. So they definitely bred the chicken in-house, I can tell. And this is going to, I think Walt would be proud. Walt's chili is just Walt's chili. It's his recipe. And they serve it over in Disney World. So I've had it before, but I still kind of just wanted to have it here. You know what I mean? I think it tastes better here, even though it's the same exact chili, I believe. Yeah. All right, we're going to cut right on in here. Oh yeah, I don't even know if I need to cut it. Like it's falling apart just by the fork. That looks amazing. I have unbelievably high expectations for this, especially with the bacon country gravy. Bacon gravy, think about that. Chicken, bacon gravy, mashed potatoes. <laughs> As I sit here just picking away at this, I have to say the broccolini is like amazing. Yeah, I actually was just talking about broccolini and how much I like it. And if you can cut it with a fork, like it is the perfect texture. Look at that. And it goes well even with the uh, bacon gravy. Broccolini and bacon gravy. I'm throwing in the towel. That was good though. Seriously. Oh, I love it. I just really love the location of this restaurant. I like how they have heaters outside too, because you know, it does get a little bit cold in California, and I like the uh, tables and the umbrellas. It's very nice, and then once you get done with your meal, you can just walk right out on the Main Street USA. Just like that. Well, that was really cool. A little dinner or lunch on Main Street, and I love that place. It is so cool. The bacon gravy, the chili, the chicken, Everything was phenomenal. And like I said, location. Like, you know, that's like one of the biggest things in the restaurant industry. Uh, location, location, location. Probably can't beat the best location on Main Street USA. And uh, yeah, it was really fun. We've been having a great time. I mean, today's been a great, amazing day. We got to go out and check out some really nifty thrift stores, explore Anaheim a little bit in Orange County. Uh, I loved the antique mall. That was really awesome. I definitely want to come back and try it again. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it. But oh, one more thing before we go, I wanted to bring you guys along with me. But uh, so Roosevelt's, uh, my fancy t-shirts, they came out with a Captain America line. And this 
is like really, really good stuff, and I love Captain America. So I thought it'd be fun to get dressed up in our Captain America gear, head over to California Adventure, see if we can find Cap, and like do a little photo shoot. And uh, the shirts and stuff haven't come out yet, but when they do come out, if you guys want to buy them, uh, there's a promo code PMM20, and that's 20% off your first order. And you can check out like my whole entire collection page, uh, the link in the description. But this stuff is awesome, so I figured I'd bring you guys along with this little journey. I can't wear it out and about because they're not out yet, but uh, just give you a little teaser, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Cap likes the outfit. One second. Perfect. Got a bunch. That's awesome, man. I'm loving it, man. I mean, it's like I stuff. It's hard to tell. The first Avenger. I only have one for Yeah. Oh, Red Skull! <laughs> oh. I got another Red Skull. No, that's fine. It looks great.